perfect dude. Yeah. Chris Hartley, would you like to come up and say a few sure, words? Sure. Well, um, hey, good morning, and uh, really, happy Friday. Yeah. Woo I heard uh, somebody said that this is the last school Friday of the year, so I'm sure nobody's disappointed about that. And there's no cases of senioritis in the room either. So um, congratulations to all the students and to the to Rotary for taking this event again. I think, you know, I was sitting here um, reflecting back, 1996, I was the Dean of Students at Arcata High, believe it or not, and I remember this event in 1996. So Rotarians, I don't know how many years you've been doing this, but it goes back a long, long time. It's just a fantastic tradition, um, and one of my favorite um, opportunities of the year to come out and join you guys, so thanks for having me back. So Mr. Navarre's looking for baldness issues. I'm looking for people who can help me remember to find my glasses. I think I'm up, up to 40 cheaters in my house. Uh, my wife would appreciate that too. I got a pair of glasses, it seems like, in every room, so maybe one of the students can help us with that as well. Um, so, students, we're just super proud of your, uh, your efforts, your grit, uh, your, de your determination, and I think it's also important to think to all of the schools in Arcata or wherever your uh, K-12 experience has been, uh, Mr. Navarre, Mr. Manji at Arcata High Administration, thank you guys for your tremendous work. Uh, but we also have to think about, you know, the counselors, uh, think about the bus drivers, the secretaries, uh, the custodians, um, all the different folks in the library, the media specialists, all the support that goes into providing an outstanding education for our students right here in Arcata. Um, we need to give them a little, uh, a little positive thought this morning too. And if you see those folks when you're out and about, hey kids, tell them thank you. You know, in your last few days walking through campus, you see Mr. Hogan, just stop and shake his hand and tell him thank you for all of your hard work. And particularly those ladies in the office, woohoo! You know, they got a job every day at Arcata High School. One of the things I remember is that front office is the hub. And if you haven't had a chance to be there just before school starts or towards the end of the day, you'll, you'll understand what I'm saying. There's a lot of activity there and they, they keep things moving seamlessly. They take care of all those details in the back so that you guys can have a great experience in your school. So let's give all those folks a round of applause. I always like to do kind of a little research like, you know, you're like, well, what makes a top 10% you know, student? Or as Dave said earlier, you know, gosh guys, there's a lot of students that aren't recognized today that had over a 4.0 GPA. Those students as well. Or really any student who finds success, whether it's in a career education pathway course sequences, or they just overcame great obstacles in their life and, and they're graduating high school and they're, and they're getting into college or they're being able to get into any program that they're excited about. You know, what are, the, what are the things that separate, you know, those folks from others? And so, yesterday I was like, well, I don't know, what, is the, what does the internet say? And so I found a website called NeoTracker. And actually did some nice research. And for me, it was really great because they summed it up. <laughs> and so I didn't have to do a lot of digging around. It was just kind of right there. But they, they had a deal that said, what are the top eight areas of behavior, you know, that separate of uh, these types of qualities? And so I'm going to kind of throw it out to the audience. What do we think some of those eight areas of behavior might be. Does anybody have one you want to toss out? And I'll check it to the Neo Tracker list right here. Persistence. Persistence is in there. No, yes it is. That was the number four. Did you read that article, Lori? Okay. okay. Persistence was uh, categorized as number four. Thank you. Any other ones? Honesty. Honesty, uh, yes. Personal growth, integrity, honesty um, was one of those qualities as well. Any other ones? Resiliency, excellent. You guys are very good. So that was listed as number six, so resiliency. Being able to take on challenges in the last 12 years, you, every day hasn't been perfectly smooth, but for all our students who achieve well, find ways to get around those obstacles. And a lot of times, folks, it's because of mentorship. It's maybe one of those adults that I mentioned at the schools before that help us be resilient and get through those as well. Um, any other ones? Messiness. Messiness. <laughs> Hmm, Video Tracker did not put that as a category, but we like your creativity. <laughs> Any of you guys messy? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll just go ahead and list off the other ones. You guys get it, right? Independence. You know, being able to, to work on your own, come up with your own solutions to your issues, instead of always, you know, tell me what to do. And I know in my work, you know, at the county office and all the work in, in the schools, we not only work with students to be independent folks, but we work with our, our fellow colleagues to be independent too. And that's an ongoing skill, that's a life skill, so that ultimately we can work together and be interdependent, right? So you guys have got a leg up on that, way to go. Um, curiosity, 
having a cure. Maybe that's the messy part, right? So the, uh, the curiosity, they're always kind of being intrigued by learning and wanting, kind of having a desire to learn more. Here's this one that's new to me, and that's e-literacy. I know I need to learn some more on that one. I wouldn't have made it to the top 4.0 group without the e-literacy, I can guarantee you that. But I did find this article online, so that's good. That's a good point for me. Uh, personal growth and trained cognitive ability. The ability over time that you are able to problem solve and think through things critically, and it's a trained cognitive ability. This is a skill that you guys are going to have the rest of your life. So congratulations to you all for being able to kind of hone in on these types of traits. You guys are, um, are a fantastic group of students, and we have um, big expectations for you. Now, I also looked up, um, I did this last year, but I think it's pretty cool. There's a company out there uh, that gets over a million resumes a year to, to, for folks that want to join this company. So a million folks apply. Anybody have an idea what company that might be? Google, Google right? And so the students are here today. I don't know that you heard this, but four to 6,000 employees are hired every year. One to 4% of the applicants are chosen for those positions. It's harder to get a job at Google than it is to get into Harvard. So this is a company that's high demand. People want to work there. And when you look at the things they want in their employees, cognitive ability, not IQ, your cognitive ability, leadership, humility, ownership, curiosity. They're looking for those real life skills. Not that you've got the, you know, the highest IQ in the planet. That's not what Google's hiring. And I think it's super reflective of the marketplace today. So I wanted to leave you with that thought that you're all well on your way to being Googlers or Nooglers or whatever they call people that work at Google. I think it's a name something like that. Um, the last thing, uh, you know, think about uh, your community here in your last few days. You've got a lot of family coming in. Congratulations, parents and guardians, grandparents and everybody. You're going to be going through lots of ceremonies. You've already done the senior awards night. You've got graduation coming up. You'll have family barbecues and picnics and all those things that come with, with graduating. But think about the community that you grew up in. Um, I think about the girls that I've raised, they're off now in college, and one's actually going to be a teacher next year. She just got a job last week. We're really excited. Mom and Dad just got a raise. <laughs> um, she got a house, and like life is starting, right? But we were meeting with some friends over dinner a couple weeks ago, and we're like, you know, we all kind of raised our kids collectively. When, you're, when your kids were out and around, they were probably in my, my house. When my kids were out and around, they were at your house. And thank you for taking good care of my daughters and raising them with me. And I think that's what we have in Humboldt County as a community. We really do raise our kids. And so students, remember that as you go out and you find success, and you settle down and you finish your school. Remember all, the, uh, all that your community and, and this Rotary Club and others gave you. And find that joy in your life and give back. So just kind of, kind of remember those things. And then when you're in the position to be able to share, that uh, we encourage you to do the same. Have a great last few days to your school year. Rotarians, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. And uh, have a great Friday, last one of the school year. Congratulations. <laughs>